Hey beauties, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Easy meal ideas and how to use leftovers. Y'all, dinner tonight is going to be leftovers. So I'm going to try to... I have that... Um, I have leftover sausage right here. I have a chicken patty that I had did the other day. Well, raw some breast. I have my fajita stuff left over. And in this one I have... What is this? This is green sweet potatoes and rice and gravy. So I'm going to try to make a casserole. I got some biscuits somewhere in the icebox or crescents or something. So I'm going to try to make a casserole with that. I don't know how it's turned out, but I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I say, let me y'all record it so they can see just in case it is good. <laughs> but you know, y'all, you got to try stuff to know if you're going to like it. So I'll show y'all the steps that I do. But right now, I just sprayed it with some um, vegetable oil, you know, the cooking spray. And then now I'm going to lay it, put some biscuits in here, break it up. And I'm going to cook the biscuits for about, probably about 10 minutes. And then I add whatever else I'm going to add. You know, like the, whatever, which one of these um, leftovers I'm going to add with some cheese and stuff like that. Okay? All right, y'all. But anyway, I will show y'all when it's done. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I didn't uh, layer the thing and didn't even tell y'all. But anyway, it was everything that y'all seen, except for the green beans, the rice and gravy, and the sweet potatoes. I didn't use that. And I didn't use my extra um, chicken patty. The only thing I used was the leftover fajita meat. Um, I added some jar cheese right here and the biscuits on top. I'm also going to add some onions because I forgot to put that in there. If I got any bell peppers and onions. And that's going to be it, y'all. Um, I told y'all the sausage, right? Yeah. And that's it. But I'll show y'all when it's done because it's about to go in the oven. So y'all, here it is. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is good. Like, for, I can't even believe how good it is with this leftover. I put this stuff together. So, you wanna try it? There it is. It is so, it, it really is good. Like, really. I'm gonna cook this again. My husband is cooking some picadillo, baby. Yep. Yeah. So right now he just seasoned the ground meat and he is um, going to let that cook. And then I'm assuming he's going to add the potatoes. I just peeled some and then put them in some water so they wouldn't brown, I think. So I will show y'all whatever he did next, okay? Because I know he, I think he's going to add some rotel with this too. But I'll let y'all know, okay? So the meat is done. Baby, what kind of seasoning did you use? I ain't saying. Oh, wow. He don't want to tell me. It smells like taco sauce, y'all. Mm-mm. And now he, you didn't drain it? Yep. Okay. And now he just going to add the potatoes. And I think he going to add some water to cover the potatoes and let it cook until the potatoes start getting soft. So y'all, here's what it's looking like. And I don't think he added water. You didn't add no water, right, baby? Mm. Yeah. So he's going to drain some of this grease now, but it smells so good. So y'all, I just added these Rotel for him. He added two cans of these. You got the other one. And now I'm just going to stir it for him real quick, y'all. But that's what it's looking like. So, y'all, I just ha uh, added half of this, which is a 16 ounce. So, I added like 8 ounces of uh, mixed vegetables to this. So, y'all, I got some cornbread in the oven. And I decided just to go ahead on and make some spaghetti. Because um, my daughter's love spaghetti. And I just said I'll just make two meals. Well, my husband did this one. And then I'm just going to do the spaghetti. So right now, I'm just about to cook the meat, season it, cook it, and then when I'm done, drain the grease. You know, y'all know how to cook spaghetti, I'm sure. Drain the grease, and then I'm going to add the spaghetti noodles inside of here. Cover them up, let them cook, and then once they cook, I'll add the uh, spaghetti sauce and the queso. And then I'll check my seasoning to see if I need to add any more. All right, y'all? But I will show y'all when it's done. So here is how the pico turned out, y'all. It is absolutely good. You can see it's already been eaten out of, y'all. I almost forgot to uh, show y'all. <laughs> but it's really, really good. Meat and full of vegetables and potatoes and just goodness, y'all. So now, y'all, for the spaghetti, I cooked the meat. I drained the grease. And then I added some uh, water and the spaghetti so the spaghetti can um, get soft. You know, how, whatever your liking is for your spaghetti noodles. And then I add the pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you want to call it, and the queso.
So here's the pico and cornbread, y'all. I didn't really want to get a lot because I want to have more spaghetti. I love my spaghetti, y'all. Uh, but this is good, too, because I already tried it, y'all. And this will be all. I'm not really in the mood for nothing else. And then I'm going to this game, too. So after I eat that spaghetti, I think I'll be done. Okay, y'all. So here we go. I have drained the water from the noodles being cooked. They are to my liking. I added some black pepper. Y'all, black pepper just, oh, uh, it does something to your food. I, it just makes it so good. And now I'm going to add almost all of this garlic and herb pasta sauce. I just got like a cup left in there. And then I will add, this is like a cup of uh, queso. Hey babies, so I'm going to be making some chicken spaghetti and actually I think I'm going to make chicken spaghetti and a chicken casserole something. I don't know, but we'll see, but I'm making a chicken spaghetti right now. So right now I'm just going to cook the noodles. I already got my chicken cooked and I'm letting it cool off right now so I can debone it and get all that uh, skin and stuff off of there because y'all know I don't like that. And then I have some diced tomatoes, which is also Rotel y'all and some cream of chicken. And I got some block cheese that I'm going to use up. That's why I decided to make chicken spaghetti. And I will show y'all when I do something else. So y'all, I have now deboned the meat. And I put it in here and it's going to cook until the noodles get done. And y'all, you can use whatever kind of meat you like. You know, chicken you like. Whether it be thighs, legs, breast. I don't think you can really debone no wing. But, you know, whatever you want to use. And then, like I say, I'm going to cook this until the noodles get tender like we like them. And then I'm just going to add, I'm going to drain some of this water. Most of the water I'm going to drain because, you know, it'd be water inside of these uh, diced tomatoes. So I'm going to drain the water. I'm going to add the uh, diced tomatoes, the cream of chicken. And I'm going to also put in some um, pieces of the block cheese. But I'll let y'all see that, okay, once the noodles are done. Okay, y'all, so I have drained the water, and I've added the cheese, you know, the chunks of cheese. And now I'm about to put the cream of chicken in here, this whole can, which is a 10.5 ounce. And this whole can of drained diced tomatoes, or like I say, Rotel, this 10 ounce. And the reason why you want it to be drained, everything to be drained, because you can add the broth that you had uh, boiled your chicken in, you can add some of that in there, you know, for extra flavor and the um depending on the thickness that you want okay and you may also have to season it again if i do have to season it again then i will just add some of my uh chicken bouillon and probably some pepper but you know you just season it to your taste okay all right y'all now i'm just gonna <clears throat> excuse me y'all just got done eat ice about to choke now i'm just gonna stir this all around y'all because the cheese is melting good I need to give me a big spoon, but it's okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to um, stir this all around, and it's pretty much done. That's all you have to do now is just taste it. And if you don't like it this thick, that's what I was talking about. Like, you can add your broth. And uh, what's I going to say? Yeah, so when this is done, I will taste it, see if I want to add any broth and any more seasonings. And that is your chicken spaghetti, y'all. I will show y'all when it's finished. That's the final product, y'all. I just added some pepper and a little bit of the bouillon. And I'm going to let it sit. And it should be ready to go. I didn't add any broth because we like our stick like that. And that's it. So, y'all, I think I'm about to make some uh, chicken salad. So, I'm going to add some sandwich bread. I'm going to add some jalapenos, and I usually add onions, y'all, but I don't have any onions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this out of here because I'll take the bell pepper, too. I'm going to take some of that out of there, and I'm going to put it in some water so it won't be froze, and then I'll be able to cut it. And then I think that's it. Yeah, chicken salad. So, you know, because I didn't want my chicken because y'all know I had made this um, chicken spaghetti earlier. So the chicken that was left over, 
because I had bought a big pack of legs. I don't want it to go bad. So I'm just going to make me a chicken salad. So I will let y'all see what it looks like when I'm done. So y'all, I have finished this and I want to tell y'all that um, I don't know if I told y'all how much sandwich bread I put in here, but it was um, three spoonfuls. Like I really, really put this in here. And when I say like tablespoons and teaspoons and stuff, I be talking about spoons, not the measuring spoons, because it is a difference. So I put like three big, like I built it up, <laughs> dug it in the sandwich bread. I put three of these in here and I also put pepper. So that's it. And I'm going to eat it with some butter crackers and that's going to be all she wrote. So y'all, I got so much going on right now, so I had to kind of do this on the side, but I'm just making a piece of casserole and I'm just going to spray the pan right now, y'all. And then I'm going to sit some crescent rolls in here because I like for the bottom part of my uh, piece of casserole to be harder than the top, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit some crescent rolls in here and I'll show y'all and I'm going to let them bake for like five or 10 minutes. I'll put it across the screen and then i start laying it, okay? All right, y'all. So now y'all, I just have my bacon cooking with some uh, bell peppers and onions and stuff. And I'm probably just going to put the hamburger meat in here because I'm, uh, yeah, I think I just put the hamburger meat in here to cook with it. Because we kind of like our bacon, you know, done, done, like crispy. So that's all. I'm doing that while I um, have my crescents in the oven. And I just started those, y'all. So I'm going to let those cook for about, like I say, like five or ten minutes. Just enough to get it uh, brown, you know, because they have to go back in the oven. So I'll show y'all when I, like I say, start layering it again. All right. So now the hamburger meat is cooking with the bacon and the peppers and onions and stuff. So I'm just going to let that get done. Not, I don't want it real hard and stuff. Just barely done. I mean, you know, just done. And then I'll put it in and start layering the casserole. And then put it in the oven. Okay, y'all. So I have let my uh, crescent rolls brown like I want them to. And now I'm finna layer. I just got the pizza sauce, the cheeses of my choice, which is mild cheddar and pepper jack. And then the um, main thing, the filling. And I'm just gonna layer this. And then um, put it in the oven. I'm gonna put another layer of this on there. You know, you just do as much bread as you wanna do. As much as everything as you wanna do. But I'll show y'all uh, right when it, before it goes in the oven, okay? So now, y'all, I have layered it, and I have put pizza sauce on there, both of the cheeses, and the meat mixture with the bacon and bell peppers and onions. So now what I'm going to do is put um, the pizza, the, some more pizza sauce, some more meat, and some more cheese, and then I'm going to do some crust, and I'll probably put some jar cheese on top of the crust. But I'll let y'all see right before it goes in. So y'all, I just put the rest of the crescent rolls on top of it and I sprayed it with some cooking spray and I'm about to put it in the oven. And I, before I did that, I layered it y'all, like I told y'all, I'm not going to add any jar cheese, but if they want the jar cheese, they can add some and they can always add more cheese, you know, whatever they want to add with it. Cause it's just like a pizza, like whatever you eat with your pizza, that's what you can put on there. Whether you want to add, um, olives, jalapenos, you know, whatever you want to do, you can put it in here. Okay. So I'm going to sit this in the oven. I got my oven on 335. It's probably going to sit in there for about 10, 15 minutes. Just until the top brown. You know how you like it. And that'll be it, y'all. I'll show y'all when it's done. So there it is, y'all. Fresh out the oven. I almost let it burn. I was talking to my brother. But yeah, it stayed in there like 20 minutes, y'all. And it smells so good. And again, y'all, this is a piece of casserole. Hey beauties, I hope y'all enjoying Vlogmas. Let me know if you try some of these easy meals.